that Jeff Bezos, who is stepping down as chief executive officer of Amazon, is going. But uh, what you might not know is that he ranks second among the world's most famous chief executives, behind Mark Zuckerberg and ahead of Apple's Tim Cook and uh, Tesla's Elon Musk. This is the top line, according to new research on the top 100 global CEOs. It's been put together by the brand valuation consultancy, Brand Finance. Chief executives like Bezos have gained publicity, says the study, due to the success and widespread appeal of the brands that they guard over. But there's more, also a willingness to be in the public spotlight. From Brand Finance, I'm joined now by Associate Annie Brown. Annie, good afternoon to you and welcome. What common traits do high-profile chief executive officers share? Thank you, Jeremy, and good afternoon. I think there's a really key differentiation between high-profile CEOs such as Jeff Bezos, um, who are famous and in the public eye, and CEOs who we see as the best CEOs. So our ranking is looking at um, who are the best CEOs in terms of something that we call brand guardianship. And what that requires is management of various different stakeholder needs. So some of the most famous CEOs like Jeff Bezos um, satisfy investors because of their massive commercial success um, and also customers and consumers because of what they deliver. But do they really deliver in terms of um, employee satisfaction? And, and that's not something that we're seeing necessarily from, from the top um, CEOs in terms of their awareness. But in terms of the top CEOs, in terms of their overall brand guardianship, it what really matters is that they can satisfy all different stakeholders. Um, the CEOs who are most famous um, are famous often because they're the most wealthy CEOs and they've really grown the businesses that they've founded. Business growth is one thing, but your study also draws a distinction between the famous chief executives, such as the ones that we've mentioned, and those who are reputable. In other words, I guess those who have the most integrity. Do those two lists coalesce? Um, no, is the short answer. And the, the long answer is what's increasingly important amongst chief executives now is that not just commercial success, but that they do good. Um, and that involves um, potentially charitable donation, charitable action, but also treating their employees with respect and treating all different stakeholders that they engage with with respect. And the most reputable um, CEOs this year are those who really understand the business that they work in. Um, they've either, um, um, and most of those CEOs have um, been appointed from within the organization. 80% of the top brand guardians were appointed to the post of CEO from an existing position within that company. So they know the business really well, and they also know the stakeholders and their needs really well. And it's really important that CEOs um, engage and, and nurture relationships with all stakeholders. With all of the names that we've mentioned, um, it's fair to say that their name and their company or their company brand are inextricably linked. Now we have Jeff Bezos stepping down. Is that potentially going to have a negative impact on the Amazon brand? Or because the brand is just so big, it's not going to make a huge difference? Well, I think what's interesting is that Jeff Bezos, um, he says he's stepping down, but really he's, um, he's still being, going to be very involved as executive chairman. Um, and a similar story is from when Bill Gates stepped down as CEO from Microsoft. But he continues to be really inextricably linked from uh, the Microsoft brand. And he's seen as sort of a figurehead of the Microsoft brand. So while relieved from the day-to-day -day duties of um, CEO-ship, um, he's still very linked with the brand. And I think we'll see that with Jeff Bezos as well, that he'll continue to be associated with Amazon. And I think that's the, there are risks with that, of course, because, um, um, as you say, the big CEOs and the most famous CEOs are so linked with corporate corporate reputation and so it's really important that these CEOs have good reputations themselves because if not it can damage the brand that they are supposed to be guarding over um, and so I think it, what's going to be interesting in the future for Amazon is whether Jeff Bezos um, and his personal brand has um, a long-term impact on the Amazon brand for the better or worse. Annie Brown, let me ask you a final question if I can. Does your survey look at median age, salary and gender? Yes, absolutely. So firstly on gender, 
Um, only 8% of the top 100 um, CEOs in our ranking are female. Um, but that's because there aren't enough female CEOs, not because female CEOs underperform. In fact, they're some of the most reputable CEOs from our research. Two of the top three most reputable CEOs are female. So um, what's really important is that um, diversity and inclusion allows female CEOs to be in those positions in the first place. In terms of pay, the average pay of the top 100 CEOs is 20 million US dollars um, total compensation. So therefore, it's justified that we are asking more of CEOs that not only do they deliver commercial success, they do good for all stakeholders involved. I'm not even going to do the comparison into South African rants, otherwise I'll burst into tears. Um, <laughs> Annie Brown from Brand Finance, thank you very much. Uh, live to us uh, from London, still to come.